what is up you stud muffins welcome to the video it's the alpha male eight thoughts welcome and in this video we're talking about nancy who has more testosterone than now i can't even say it see i can't even say it because our boy eight thoughts got taken down by the powers that be at youtube i mean what is going on in the world whenever you look at a channel like eight thoughts been around forever is satire is trolly just jokes 24 7 every joke is for the laugh i mean he's joked about taking it in i don't even know what i can say I, the fact i'm doing an eight thoughts video i don't even know what i can say in this video it, i don't even know but that's what i want to talk about is how is it possible that in 2021 with some of the stuff that's on tv some of the stuff that i mean we got you know 25% of the of the world's population has an OnlyFans. And we're sitting here, Eight Thoughts gets canceled off of YouTube for what? Especially the strikes they gave him. I mean, he, he can't make fun of somebody's thumbnails. I mean, and then his other video, I mean, it's 100% right. I mean, I make videos like the video that he, he said ruins games. I make meta videos. Yeah, you know, 750 subscribers. I highly doubt that I'm changing the meta that much, but I get where he's coming from. But that should never bring a strike. I mean, the guy is a, is a comedian. Let's be honest. I mean, you can sit here as much as you want and be like, well, those guys can say that because they're comedians or they're on stand-up comedy. Or, look, when you got 300 and some thousand subscribers and you have hundreds of millions of views if not i mean at least tens of millions of views on his channel i mean at what point do you just chalk it up like okay this is what this guy's shtick is and he gets to do things a certain way like i mean come on let's grow up just don't watch the guy's channel if he's gonna if if you have a problem with it just turn away from the channel don't just try to cancel the guy it's an insane age that we live in i mean and it's a problem it really is i mean i hold back on my channel so much just because not not even pushing the envelope I don't even know you know to let some of my personality out like all it takes is like the wrong little group of fans that like take a joke the wrong way and they'll they will shut your shit down you you are over on YouTube and yeah I know how it feels that I'm pushing a year and a half on this grinding you know a couple hundred video 150 videos I couldn't imagine being eight thoughts. This being my living, dedicating forever to it and grinding this shit for as long as he has and having that taken away. That being said, I'm gonna link the Stud Muffins new channel in the description below. If you could please drop it a subscribe, give him some support. The dude's hilarious. I mean, I watch his videos and I crack up like crazy. I mean, the dude is good at what he does. And, uh, you know, you know, I won't call him an inspiration, but you know, to to cut back, cut loose, and just let her rip like he does in his videos. He's good at it, and it's just a shame that you know what's happened to him, and uh, you know my little channel, you know, trying to show support to it. You know, he he makes one post and posts like two videos, and he's already got like you know sixty five thousand subscribers or something crazy. But um, you know, which is awesome. I'm, I'm happy for him for sure. Um, but anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below. I mean, have you watched him? If you haven't, uh, maybe go check out a video or two. And I mean, what's up on his channel now is not really what his content usually is. But uh, let me know where you stand on this type of stuff. And, you know, let me know, um, you know, what you think of cancel culture currently. I mean, it's just kind of nuts to me that a, a channel like his gets taken down just because probably somebody got butt hurt. And what I'm thinking that probably the drifter thing um spamming youtube about uh his trolling that he was doing for grifter and then i'm sure maybe nick Merckx, maybe he did get a little bit you know uh twisted about somebody making fun of his thumbnails so he might have contacted youtube i i think that's probably what happened is he had the wrong couple big youtubers reach out and get him put on a uh, radar that he probably didn't want to be on and that's probably what ended up happening. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, helps out a lot, and uh, Splitting Wigs out. Catch you on the next one.